we're the first rotation of Operation Kudu. We're, today we're on the range conducting live fire progression training. So live fire is important to achieve uh, battle inoculation or prepare people for when they're actually in a fight. The more uh, realistic you can provide live fire training to a training audience, the better they'll perform in combat. So the training we're conducting today is the last phase of the five week program and it's the range phase. Uh, this has seen a progression of training from static engagements at 100 metres and sees the progression to them being able to do what's called a section defence range. This involves a, a section of between 8 and 16 people being able to go to a, a defensive position and defend that uh, with all their weapon systems. As a first rotation, I think our soldiers, whilst being so motivated to come here, they've been increasingly surprised with the training audience and what they're able to achieve. The level of motivation they have for protecting their country has been something that's been truly humbling. Trying to learn from our Ukrainian mates and also be prepared to come back home and teach these lessons uh, back to our own soldiers to make us better. So it's been mutually um, supporting and uh, a really great opportunity for our, our team. So all the training that we've delivered up to this point is going to give the Ukrainians confidence on the weapon systems that they are going to have to utilise when they return to Ukraine. What surprised me the most uh, from these Ukrainian soldiers is how quickly they learnt and how keen they were to fix any sort of errors in their drills.